I must find a story or my career is over. Oh my god. I got it! I expect to get a story out of that? Nobody wants to know about this thing. Come on, lady. And you're wrong. They shared a landscape with Homo sapiens during the beginning of their development. How is that not appealing? Fine, I'll make you a deal. You give me the story, turn out something interesting to watch, and uh, I'll think about you keeping your job. Thank you, sir! So here, we have one of the scientists who discovered Homo Naledi. Yes, hello. What can you tell me about them? Oh, lots of things. Oh, we found the remains in 2013 in the Tiny Lady Chamber. <laughs> Uh, this chamber is part of the Rising Star Cave in Johannesburg, South Africa. It was given an official name in 2015. It was a whole thing. More than 1,550 fossil elements were found inside. It was pretty awesome if I do say so myself. Cool. Uh, what was it like being in there? Well, I would know. Within the system were a couple of narrow passages. Uh, like Superman's Crawl and uh, Dragon's Back. Uh, this is why such uh, slim people were added to the team. I don't know how to get a good story on this brilliant find. I've tried everything. Well, uh, you can always visit one. One what? Woman a lady, obviously. Wait, seriously? How? A time machine and uh, we need someone to test it. It's a win-win. You get the story and uh, I get to find out whether this thing works. Or uh, we'll incinerate you on the spot. <laughs> so, what did you say you would do? Zimmer! Okay. So... How is this um gonna work? Well, uh, I'm gonna take you and your uh, cameraman in between uh, two hundred twenty-six thousand and uh, three hundred thirty-five thousand years ago. Use this to communicate with me for guidance. Right? You're gonna need it. Trust me. Thanks. Anyway, this night vision goggles for obvious reasons. Just to see it. Put around your neck. Yeah, like that. Uh, hey. So pretty self-explanatory, by the way. I don't think I need to tell you how night vision goggles work. So, there's this necklace. It's a little tangled, so be careful. Uh, it's got a chip in it. Translates anything into English. Let's get this show on the road! Alright, have fun! Wait up! You know it. Now what do you see? Uh, not really. Alright, uh, let me know if you've seen the lady. You can identify them by some key characteristics. They've got a small head, projecting face, slender body, wide hips, human-like feet and hands, but with curved fingers. They also have some interesting facial hair, uh, kind of like an adolescent trying to grow a beard, but everything's uneven. Got more. They weigh about 88 to uh, 123 pounds, uh, about 4 foot 9. Starman, we're pretty short. Starman? Yeah, the lady means star in Sosotho, a language uh, native to Lesotho, Botswana, South Africa, Nambia, and Zambia. And uh, Homo, of course, means man. They have just found one. stick is a tool. It's postulated that they made and used tools during their existence. I bet the stick's used for digging, perhaps looking for meat or vegetation for its group or itself. They're hunter-gatherers, after all. It's more likely they looked for tubers, nuts, and or other hard food. Their diet was, was much different than other hominids. Uh, shows by their, uh, Chipping in their teeth. In fact, uh, more than 40% of their teeth are affected. Their molars more so than others. The thing is that uh, a lady had a quite a lot more chipping than uh, two hominids known for their diet of hard foods. It was more than twice the chipping of chipping rate of Australopithecus africanus and four times Paranthropus robustus. I know just as much as the team of 60 odd people who discovered this hominid. In fact, uh, 
I was on the team myself. Wonder why I'm suddenly back here? For me to get a good video? Well, yeah, it's mutually beneficial. I get information from you observing home and a lady in its natural habitat, and uh, you get your videos so you don't get sacked. Oh, uh, thanks, I guess. Welcome. Uh, oh no. What? So, uh, time machine's dead. You're kind of stuck. Hang tight while I fix this. You mean I'm stranded here? Yeah, just uh, go collect the information like normal. I've got this. I'm smart. Oh. Huh? Um, Isaac. Just, just put the necklace on it. You'll be fine. And be able to communicate with the hominid. And maybe I'll show you around its home. It should make for an interesting video. Now, can I please fix the machine in peace? Sure. I gotta understand what you're doing. It's got the brain the size of an orange, for Christ's sake. 460 to 610 square centimeters to our, like, 1,400 se square centimeters, to be more precise. Just show it you're not a threat. It's pretty fun. And uh, over here is our sacred place. Uh, it's a pretty long trip, so let's go. It was only uh, considered a theory, but uh, I guess they really did have a concept of death and burial practices. See these piles? They were once us, but they became these things after we put them here, I, uh, I think this, this used to be my grandfather. Well, uh, this, uh, certainly shows evidence of cooperative behavior in this species. Yeah. Very interesting indeed. He talks? Uh, oh, yes. My friend is talking to me. Your friend is in this shiny thing? Friend? Friend! Stop! Jesus! Too loud! <sighs> Tell your hairy friend to back off a bit. It's hard to concentrate with this hominy yelling at me. Hey, um, he doesn't like that. Oh, sorry. That was especially interesting. It's a trait of understanding death and like, uh, it's thought to be very human. Well, of course they're human-like. Aren't they called homo? It's more complicated than that. Uh, there's some controversy surrounding whether a lady should be considered homo or not. Skeptics believe there are uh, more things being human than just using tools to control their environment. Like, uh, primary use of fire and language apparently needs to be included. Oh, really? Well, I think it's human. I mean, look at its face. Uh -huh. Yeah, I agree. The general shape of their skull shows similarities to other hominids deemed homo. It's distinct brow ridges, narrow cranium behind the orbits of the eyes, lower spacing between the temporal lines, and slender jaw with smaller teeth should be a clear indicator. Ugh. Even that limb shows similarities to us. Uh, what can you do? Uh, 
Can't convince everyone. Okay. Yes! Okay, it's ready. Alright, uh, wrap this up, Nadia, so we can take you home. Pretty sure you and your cameraman would like a break. And, uh, you can always come back later. But yeah, I plan to get back to hunting and, uh, whatnot, so I'll show you out. Come on. Come on. Well, see ya! Alright, I'm, I'm ready. Let's head back to the time machine. Follow me. Okay, and here we go! Hello?